Hey, it's Mike. Let's talk about Reaper. Today we're going to be looking at markers, regions, and time selections. When you have a project, markers can be very helpful to locate different sections of the song, like the intro, verse, chorus, things of that nature. And regions can be helpful for mapping out those sections in their entirety. For example, now in the project that's in front of me, I don't have any tracks. It's just a, a blank project for the sake of demonstrating this. But let's say at this particular time, measure three, I want to add a marker to indicate that this is where the intro to the song would start. You can click on insert and go to marker, or you can press the letter M on your keyboard, that's the default setting anyway, or shift M to insert a marker and prompt for name. That's my preferred method. I like to press shift M and it brings up this dialog to give a name to the marker or change the color. So I'll call this intro. And now we have a marker with number one on it. Now let's say that at measure 10, that's when the verse comes in. I can press Shift M again and add the word verse. And as you can see, I've now got two markers, one at number one and one at number two, that mark off the intro and the verse. The default key press for accessing your markers is uh, the numeric keys one through nine. After you get past nine, you have to either click on the markers or you can use the left and right brackets to go to the next or previous marker. So for example, I can press number one and my playhead immediately goes to marker one. I can press two on my keyboard and the, and the playhead goes to marker two. At this point, I can press the left bracket to go back or the right bracket to go forward. So if I wanted to add another marker at measure 17, I'll do the same process again and hit shift M and add, let's say, pre-course. So now I can press one, three, or two to go to those markers, or press the left and right brackets to go forward and backwards based on those markers. Now regarding time selections, uh, I can double click on the words for these markers. Like if I double click the word intro, a time selection has been created. For that to work, you have to have a subsequent marker. So for example, if I double click on pre-chorus, the time selection just goes from the beginning of the project to that marker because I don't have anything after pre-chorus. Now if I add a marker at measure 21 and do the same thing again double clicking pre-chorus which it looks like I have misspelled but that's dyslexia for you um, I have grabbed a time selection between the pre-chorus and chorus and that works out nicely now another option that you can do is regions I usually like to use a combination of both let's say for example I wanted to create a region for this intro I've double clicked my marker to create a time selection and with the time selection made in the insert menu, you can go to region from time selection. And that will give us this region up here, which you can change the color and change the name for it. But there's another method that I prefer. So I'm going to delete that region and show you another way. If you go to your actions list and do a search for insert region, it's important to spell it right or it won't show up. You can see that the default for shift R is insert region from time selection. I instead want to choose insert regions from time selection and edit, and I'm gonna create a shortcut key to go to that. Let's say we'll make that shift R and take over the, the default behavior for that. So what's going to happen now when I make my time selection and press shift R, it will do similar to what shift M did for the markers. It'll create a region and bring up an edit dialog to where I can give that region a name and a color. Uh, so you may want to use markers in your project, you may want to use regions, you may want to use a combination of the two. Just for example, with this region, I can, can drag it to make it uh, longer or shorter, and I can call this region, let's rename it, intro plus verse. And by double-clicking that region, I can create a time selection based on that region, or I can go back to my previous method of double-clicking a marker and creating a time selection based on that marker and the, the following marker. Hopefully that'll help you guys with getting your time selections and just other ways of navigating around your projects and making your life easier. If this has been helpful, be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and feel free to click the link below to buy me a coffee because, as you know, I like coffee.